Hello everyone, I'm Shiro Yamagata from Kyushu University. I'm talking about numerical simulation on influence of long term fluctuation of m i l water level on sand waves in the Kamowara Bay, Japan. Today's content is here. First, introduction. Second, numerical simulation. Third, Results of simulation and finally conclusions. First of all, I explain the location of Kamowara Way. Expanding here, here is Honshu Island, and here is Kyushu University. Kamowara Way is Between these islands, here is Kamo Waraway. Kamo Waraway is one of the most mo important international and domestic routes in Japan, and its width is 500 to 2200 meters, and its minimum depth is 12 meters. And the fastest current is 10 knots. In order to allow large ships to pass there, improvements are being made to increase the waterway depth to 40 meters. However, in the common waterway, sand waves. Are developing and make shores. It is dangerous for ships. Sand waves are developing in Kasase area, Yamazoko no Hana area, Mojiko area, and Tanura area. I'll talk about、uh, in this presentation, I'll talk about Tanura area. From the observation, we confirm the, the tidal level deviation fluctuates over long term. Like this. And we discover that the long term fluctuation of sea level departure and depth change are correlated at the place. Where the sound waves are developing. The long term fluctuation of sea level departure means the long term fluctuation of mill water level. Therefore, it, is said, it can be said that sound waves and the long term fluctuation of mill water level is correlated. Moreover, the amplitude of long term fluctuation of Miura level is especially different. From these things, we think the long term fluctuation of Miura level affects the sound waves. We examine the effect of the long term fluctuation of Miura level on topographic change with numerical simulation. By the way, sand wave is sand topography like wave on bottom of sea, like this. In order to maintain the waterway efficiency, it is necessary to clarify the mechanism of sedimentation. So, to clarify the influence of the long term fluctuation of mean water level on the Development of sound waves is the purpose of the study. We use FVCON. FVCON is the numerical simulation 
model developed by Chen et al. Using unstructured, unstructured grids and sigma coordinate systems, this model can reproduce complex topography. Moreover, this model has various modules. We use sediment module. This is computational domain. Computational period is 30 days. Boundary conditions were given with now 99 JP. This is computational grid. Grid size is 3000 meters at boundary, 500 meters in the street, and 30 meters in Tanora area. We prepared these two cases. Case zero. Case zero is a calculation without long-term fluctuation of mean water level. Case zero is the calculation with long-term fluctuation of mean water levels. In both cases, initial topography is common. Then we confirm the calculation uh, continuously every month. Note that fluctuation of water level is very small. By the way, the values in the table of case 1 above were obtained from observation. In this study, during the period when the sound waves are developing, we Average the long term fluctuation of mean water level at these four points that is KT 1, 2, 8, and 9 every three months. Then I, the average of western two points is at the western boundary, con western boundary conditions and same for east boundaries. I'll explain the result. This is a distribution of bottom current velocity at Tanora area, when west current is fastest. Almost the same in the both cases. Like this. However, when east current is fastest, there is difference at the where sound waves are development, like this. Next, this is both of these are uh, both of these are. Uh, Initial topography, then result of first month, second month, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh months. In both cases, it can be seen that the topography change as the computation progresses. Moreover, you can see that the depth is shallow in the area surrounded by a red line. This area con coincides with the part where the sound waves are developed. This is depth difference between case 1 and case 0 at 6 months. In the area surrounded by red line, case 1 is shallower than case 0. Since, since fluctuation of mean water level is negative from first month to six months, it can be said that sedimentation is increased 
to lower mu water level. Next, I'll talk about monthly topographic change of case 1. Case 1 and over 2 means topographic change in this month. Red means sedimentation and blue means erosion. In second month, the difference between the fluctuation of mural level in east and west is small. In fourth month, this is large. And in six months, this is smaller again. In second month, there is a lot of sedimentations. And in fourth month, there is less sedimentation than second month. Finally, in six months, there is a lot of sedimentation again. From these things, when, when difference of mineral level between east and west is somewhat small, sedimentation increase. But when that is large, sedimentation decreases. This is distribution of bed road transport vectors. In each case, there is sedimentation transport for east. East is north side of Tanora and there is sediment the transport for west at south. The areas where sand waves are development is on their border. In conclusion, we clarify these things in this study. Threat fluctuation mean water level affects topographic change and slight fluctuation mean water level change the current condition and the development of shallow area. Finally, sand waves are developing at the boundary of the area where the direction of sand drift differs. Thank you for listening.